launched a number of years ago under President Obama, continued under President Trump as a high value, important engagement with Africa, with, the, with emerging leaders of Africa. I want to warmly welcome the Mandela Washington Fellows and the African Diaspora Leaders to the first ever African Diaspora Young Leaders Summit, also known as ADYL. ADYL offers a unique opportunity to foster partnerships between young leaders on the continent and the African diaspora in the United States. I am Simon Delo Tony. I am from Namibia. I'm from Nigeria. I'm Sean. I'm from Ethiopia. I was selected as part of uh, the team from the AU under the US AU mission. Today, you are creating the relationships that will strengthen and deepen the US Africa partnership a partnership that will shape the world's economy, well-being, and security for years to come. As the premier multilateral organization on the continent, the African Union is a natural partner to the United States to advance our common interests and goals. That's why the United States created a dedicated mission to the AU in 2006, becoming the first non-AU member state to do so. The United States mission to the African Union, also known as USAU, strengthens the strategic partnership between the United States and the African Union with the aim of supporting a stable and prosperous Africa. I think the first thing that is really, really exciting for the fellowship is that it has been in existence for about five, six years now. So it has been, it has managed to develop this incredible network of young African leaders all over the continent really doing incredible things. Um, I expect to meet more people, interact more with people, share my experiences, hopefully also meet people in the same background as I am. The USAU relationship is based on four areas of technical cooperation as outlined in our 2013 Memorandum of Understanding. The areas are democracy and governance, economic growth, peace and security, and finally, opportunity and development. The United States works closely with the African Union on a vast spectrum of programs and initiatives within each of those four areas. To take an example in the realm of health, the United States answered the African Union's call to fast-track the establishment of the Africa Center for Disease Control, also known as Africa CDC, by committing technical expertise to help the African Union establish a public health emergency surveillance and response mechanism. The Africa CDC has been successful in tracking and responding to disease outbreaks across the continent, including the most recent Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. One of our most important endeavors with Africa in the economic arena is the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, or AGOA. AGOA has been the cornerstone of U.S. economic engagement with African countries since 2000, with some fairly significant gains in U.S. investment, job creation, and increased cross-trade flows. With almost 70% of Africans under 25 years of age, empowering young people is at the heart of U.S.-Africa relations, and there is no better example of America's commitment to helping develop the next generation of African leaders than the YALI program. Beyond the uh, professional development experience, I expect to get a lot of networks that would help me build on my uh, experiences, uh, what I intend to do when I come back to my country, and then uh, contribute to the African Union uh, and get the most out of the, the social experiences in the United States. YALI aligns with African Union priorities of employment and entrepreneurship, education and skills development, health, well-being and rights, and governance. YALI has had great success in supporting the next generation of African leaders and we are only just beginning to see how dramatically these young men and women will transform the face of the continent in the years to come. come cool. Life is hard and so slow. Now I'm Having worked in Africa for most of my career, the Africa I have come to know is a continent of vast opportunity and promise. It is a continent with tremendous natural and human resources and a rapidly expanding middle class. Africa has made remarkable progress despite significant challenges. And when I think about eradicating poverty, countering and preventing violent extremism, and boosting economic growth and trade in Africa, young leaders 
both on the continent and within the African diaspora, are central to the conversation. I hope your participation in ADYL today sparks the conversations, builds the skills, and creates the relationships needed to build a stronger U.S.-Africa partnership, not only to meet the challenges of Africa, but to take part in the opportunities represented by a growing U.S.-Africa relationship. The American people need to know that the money is being used in the right way and that there is a multiplier effect to this program. Uh, their money might be training a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people, but it's multiplying in millions. And I hope that, that, that this program can, can prove to the world that the youth can actually make a change and a significant change in the way police, politics is done, in, in governance, in business, and in all other spheres of life.